Krishna. I am not saying that it is or is the, then you are not giving a chance for the despair to act. So you are interested in finding out a solution, a way out of this impasse, you see, or impasse, I don't know what you call it. That's all that is there. And you give a name and call it, you see, despair. You, you are not in despair, you see. You don't act like a man, a person in despair. You just talk about despair, you talk about vacuum, you talk about emptiness. Hmm? It's not really empty, you see. If there is emptiness, that's the action of life. Life is. Then you will ask me, what is life? Is by divine life? We are lost. It's one definition against life. You see, what, what exactly I mean by life is that what makes it possible for the whole of your being to respond, not react to this, it respond. Respond to this, to this stimuli around you. Hmm? So if there is no life there, you, you become a corpse, a dead corpse. A dead corpse cannot respond the way it is responding, but it is still responding in a different way. Hmm? So that is why you call, you see, this life. Life, in other words, is nothing but, you see, the, the pulse and the beat and the breath of life. Now that's also a definition. There is a pulse, there is breathing, there is a throb of life. It is throbbing all over you. You are everywhere, you know, every cell in your body is throbbing. Hmm? So that's all that is life, you see. So if you give a definition, but we are not really uh, talking about that life because nobody can say anything about that life except give definitions. You call it life, force, this and the other. But the living, hmm? The living implies all the other problems that the so-called living creates. So there is a demand for how, how to live. That is really the problem. The problem of all the problems is how to live. And for centuries we have been brainwashed that this is how you should live. So if that is not satisfactory, you find out another way and call that how to live. And it go on and on and on and on. All that may be nonsense. It's because it has not given you peace. You know, all the time there is a constant battle going on inside of you. A war going on inside of you. As long as there is a war inside of you, there isn't going to be a peaceful world at all. Even assuming for a moment that war has come to an end and you are at peace with yourself, that will not change anything because, you see, a man who is at peace with himself will be attracted to his neighbor. So he will liquidate you. There is a danger, you see. So, the, the important problem is, you see, can you bring this war to an end within yourself? Is there any way? So all the solutions that you have are the ones that are responsible for this battle that is going how to live. So the how has to go. Hmm? So then you ask me how can that how go? Can you help me? First of all you are not sure of that. You have not even come to that point that there is a despair. Then only you can deal with the despair. As long as you are moving away, running in the direction of wanting to be free from despair, it is just not possible for you to handle that, you see. You know, that's all that I'm saying. So that is the reason why I say that is the problem. You don't look for solutions. There may be 150 solutions, you see, but you can't try all of them. So obviously all that you have tried, that has failed. And so you say you are in despair. The despair will act. Hmm? That's all that I'm saying. What is the action? That action can never be within the framework of your thinking. Any action that is within the framework of the product of your thinking will inevitably create despair. 
It may give you certain results for a while, to certain experiences, and they always demand more and more and more of the same. And then you see this keeps the whole thing going, and then that gives you hope. The hope is here, and you say the situation is hopeless. The situation is not hopeless. The hope is here now. Because, as you say, the despair is there. And so the hope to resolve that, to solve that, to handle that, come to grips with, and find out if there is any way of freeing yourself from the despair, instead of letting that act, you are running away from that and still finding out if there is any way that you can be free from this. So that applies to all the situations in life. Either you are stuck with your frustration which is despair or something else. You know. So what you want to do in such a situation is you have to find out the solution for yourself. If I give you another solution, it will be like the hundreds of solutions that you already have. You will add this to the list of solutions that you have. This is not going to help you to solve your problem. That makes it more difficult. One more solution. So if there is any solution, the solution has to come from that, which you are trying to free from and not from any outside agency. That's going to act. You see, that action is something extraordinary. If once, you see, that despair problem is solved, all the others are solved, because every other problem is the variation of the same. So you never want to solve the problem. You are more interested in solutions. That's why I am repeating the same thing over and over in ten different words. My vocabulary is limited, it's so I have to use the same words. You can increase your vocabulary and find new phrases, but um, it doesn't serve any purpose. People experience without knowing, hmm? without asking for them, without doing any such things. So when once, you see, this was a frightening experience for you, but other spiritual experiences. So they want to, you see, make them happen again and again and again. Anything you make it happen, you see, there's no meaning at all. So what I'm suggesting is, that all the problems we have cannot be solved on psychological and ethical level. Man has tried for centuries to solve them, but he has failed. And what keeps him going still is the hope that one day, by doing this more and more of the same, he will achieve. But the body, as I was saying, has a way of resolving these problems, because you see, that it cannot take that. The sensitivity of the sensory perceptions is destroyed by whatever you are doing to free yourself from whatever you want to be free from. So it is destroying the sensitivity of the nervous system here. The nervous system has to be very alert for the survival of this living organism. It has to be very sensitive. Your sensory perceptions have to be very sensitive. Instead of allowing them to be sensitive, you have invented what is called the sensitivity of your feelings, the sensitivity of your mind, the sensitivity towards every living thing around you, sensitivity to the feelings of everybody that is there. And this has created a neurological problem. So all the problems are neurological, not psychological and not ethical. That's the problem of the society. The society is interested in status quo. It doesn't want to change. The only way it can maintain the status quo or the continuity is through this demand, you see. The demand that everybody should fit into this structure. Whereas every individual is a unique individual. Physically speaking, it's a unique individual. Nature is creating something unique all the time. It is not interested in a perfect man. It is not interested in the religious man. So we have placed before man the goal or the ideal 
of a perfect man, a truly religious man. So anything you do to reach that goal of perfection, he is destroying the sensitivity of this body. It is creating violence here. He's not interested in that. You want to see to be without any problems. You are yourself the problem. If you don't have any problems, you create problems. The end of the problem is the end of you. So these problems will remain until the end. So you go, <laughs> then the problems. 70, 80, 90. The hope remains. It's not a, a pessimistic situation, it's a really a realistic situation, you know. So I'm not giving you any solutions. Please, for goodness sake, look at your problem if you can. See, you can't separate yourself from the problem. That's really the problem. And say this is the problem. The problem is created by this is the opposite of it. Why do you feel unhappy, first of all? Why do you feel this feeling of unkindness in you? Because of the goal, it is that that creates the opposite. You can watch for yourself. I don't have to tell you. Hmm? I should be like that. I ought to be that. You see, I must be like that. So I am not that. You see, it is that that has created the opposite of it. That's all that I am But If that is gone, this also is gone. This man cannot be a cruel man. This cannot, man cannot be an insensitive man, not sensitive within the framework of your cultural norms. You see, but this is a different kind of, you see, a sensitivity. Hmm? 